I'm sure many of you guys noticed all of yesterday video 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 every two hours three hours new video new video new video new video I recorded I did okay so I didn't sleep uh, on Sunday night just didn't sleep just kept recording videos pushing new videos out every couple hours uh, I actually slept last night I passed out 12 hours later <laughs> 12 hours later, my body just did not want to wake up. It was like, you didn't sleep Sunday. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Let's <laughs> wake up anyway. Let's do more videos. And my body was like, that's not how it works. We're going to stay asleep. So I apologize. I feel like I have to apologize. Probably no one is demanding an apology from me. But I feel like I, I don't know. I let myself down by, by sleeping 12 hours. Anyway, today we are here on the Europe server to play with Lala, the fire... How uh, I think she's going to be a fantastic unit for early game players trying to do Dragons B12. So, the reason that I think this is because, let's take a look at her skills here. She's got a little heal here for first skill. She's got a cleanse uh, over here. And then she's got dispel attack removes up to six harmful effects on an ally and attacks if possible. From what I am told, this is not one ally. This is all allies. So, we're going to actually see how it works. I have not even tried her at six stars yet. I six starred her a couple days ago. Um, and maxed out her level, didn't even try her in the process, probably should have tried her before then, but, uh, here's her, after she's second awakening, here's what she does, uh, attacks the enemy to remove one beneficial effect, grant, this is the first skill, right, first skill, uh, is attack, uh, removes a beneficial effect grant on the target with 75% chance, and recovers the HP of the alley with the lowest HP ratio, it's still, still the same, uh, recovery, but, Potentially, with her third skill, based on what her third skill does, it keeps activating attack, uh, she's going to keep doing attacks that strip a uh, beneficial effect. So, many times in Dragons B12, we've, we are frustrated and we struggle with the thing that's supposed to strip gets resisted or they don't use the skill that's supposed to strip. However, uh, she's got a first skill that strips and heals, she's got a second skill that cleanses, and then she's got a third skill that cleanses and uh and heal and it cleanses and strips right cleanses and does first skill so we're gonna test her out we're gonna play with her we're gonna see exactly what she's good for but i think the thing is like where else do you need to be cleansed and then and then very importantly strip something from one enemy that seems like dragons b12 to me also it also seems like steel fortress b uh b10 so we're gonna try her out with a steel fortress and we're gonna try her out in uh dragons and we'll see I'm just, uh, Lala and friends, right? Lala and friends. So cute. Lala and friends, straight out of Luigi's Mansion. So let's see. Still didn't crack 10,000 HP. Pretty close, though. Uh, pretty tanky. Accuracy is lower. Oh, I switched these runes from Mo Long. Mo Long is apparently has, uh, I guess, awakens into accuracy now that I think about it. Yeah. So I thought this was actually going to have more accuracy. So maybe we'll and uh, increase the accuracy in the meantime. We switched the runes around a little bit. We have focus set on her now. Uh, I know I said, okay, so here's the conundrum. I said early game. However, for Dragons B12, you would not be doing that early game anyway. First, you'd be farming Giants. First, you'd be building a Giants B10 team, then a Giants B12 team, and then you'd be farming a bunch of Giants B12, and then you'd go to Dragons. You'd be farming like Giants B, uh, Dragons B10 uh, and then farming Dragons B12 after that. So you wouldn't be doing Dragons B12 early game anyway. That's not a thing that, like, early game you're not going to have enough runes no matter what you do to do Dragons B12. Um, so, because you, you have to farm runes in, in, in Giants first, you have to farm runes in Dragons uh, B10 first. So it, there really isn't a early game Dragons B12 team anyway. But anyway, this is, uh, so I just wanted to clarify that because people are going to be like, you're not going to be able to get those runes early game. And I'm going to be like, oh, I should have mentioned that you really don't farm Dragons B12 early game anyway. If you've been playing the game for a week and you're trying to farm Dra Dragons B12, that's not going to work. It's not going to work no matter what you do. So it's okay to not be able to farm Dragons B12 after a week or two of playing the game. Um, anyway, and then also the game kind of gives you some decent, decent enough uh, violent sets in part of those quests and whatever, the different achievements and things. Anyway, uh, regardless, the, these are the runes that we have on it. Speed, HP, HP. We got some uh, accuracy on it, uh, a little bit more accuracy on it. We don't need will if we're doing Dragons B12. Um, this one just wanted to show the skill ups, uh, damage and recovery. I don't care too much about damage. She's a support unit anyway, so it's really, she's not gonna be doing any damage with the damage. Uh, and then this extra recovery might be nice. We'll see if we need it. Uh, let's go try out some Dragons B12 now. 
You know what? I should have said a like first Dragons B12 team instead of begin. Did I say beginner or did I say first? I think I I should say first Dragons B12 team. Anyway, here's the team. It's a fairly easy to obtain team. I know it's super impossible to get the uh, Fire Nagami. Um, let's see how it works. Excited to see. Curious to see how it works. Curious to see how many units are involved in that skill three. Right? Fantastic. That's. Maybe I should slow it down. Maybe I should slow it down when it's time to see her. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's do, uh, yeah, let's do... Well, we can't even see the skill. What? Never mind. Let's, uh, let's, when we get to the next one, or maybe we count the cooldowns. Yeah, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to manual it. I want to see what, uh, I want to see what she's going to do. Okay. We don't have any, we, I mean, we don't have any continue, uh, any... Uh, harmful effects anyway, so... Yeah. I mean, she still does multi-hits, though. Regardless if we have, uh, harmful effects. So, that's nice. Even if we don't have it. Even if we don't... I wonder what the AI is gonna... Well, the AI showed that it was still doing it, right? The AI showed that it was still using skill, uh... Skill 3 regardless of if they had things to cleanse or not. You're just doing it to multi-hit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the AI is still doing the skill 3. Okay. So that's something to consider. Sometimes that might be good. Sometimes that might be bad. Maybe Comptos did that on purpose. Comptos doesn't do any AI things on purpose. We've, we've, we've learned that. And that's definitely not on purpose. Uh, let's do... Yep. Let's do... I don't know why I'm saying... So it's, it is random though. Because we're not targeting the tower. But it is randomly hitting the tower. Okay. Well, that's not great. Randomly hitting. Yeah, that's that's not good. Randomly hitting the tower. So let's see. Oh, now she's gonna do it. Now she feels. Okay, we're hitting the right tower too now. Okay, so that's not great. That's not great that it's randomly hitting. It does have a skill one strip. The team is. I mean, the team is working, but. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's try that again. Too well. well, I mean, we paused it for two different parts in the video, so uh, let's see it again. Let's see. Let's see the team again. I think there's gonna be a fairly. I mean, you could use this with Lulu too. You could argue that you, you could just use this with Lulu too. Everything else, ev everything here is gonna be just. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's multi. It's it's hitting random enemies. It was hitting like all the right tower when we saw it in uh, in the boss stage. It was hitting all the left tower, or the left tower first, and then the right tower when we saw it in the boss stage. But it's just hitting random. It probably literally says that in the skill. Text random enemies multiple times. Yeah, it's just random. Where would that be? Where would a random strip be good? <laughs> There's nowhere a random strip would be good. Hold on. I mean, cleanse is nice, but... She didn't have the cleanse for Vertiheal when he needed that uh, defense break to be cleansed. So... Or she didn't want to use it because she has her. She she didn't use her second skill, right? She still had her second skill available, but didn't use it even if even though Verdi Hill had a defense break on him. I don't know. Maybe it's not a great beginner uh, unit for dragons. I mean, it, it might just work just because the other units are good for dragons, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. We need to make sure we, we need to make sure this dragon gets his immunity. Nice. Okay, so the dragon's gonna get his immunity. And then we need to try to make sure that we get it. Good. Lauren used her skill too. Nice. So the dragon gets his immunity now. Verti heals turn cycling. Let's see. Okay, so strip that. Not bad. We need to continue we need to see how, how often it's actually gonna get stripped though. So that's that's the that's the important part. Special assault. And then didn't have uh, didn't have anything. Didn't use the cleanse. Now we got a lot of dots on. The dragon's gonna get immunity soon too. So dispel attack and hits random <laughs> hits random things anyway. Okay, gets a couple extra violent procs, but did dispel the uh, did dispel the continuous damage. And now we didn't even need it uh, anyway. So let's see. And then Spectra just does Spectra things. So let's let's see some more. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna, not time lapse, I'm gonna just cut to more where we just fight against the dragon so we can see a little bit more situations where we're just fighting the dragon and how it actually, uh, how it actually works. 
Okay, we're getting onto the dragon again. Let's see another thing. You know what I was thinking too? That this could be great for R5 since it's cleansing everything. This could be a great unit for R5. So we'll see. Multiple cleanses. So we see some team ups. We see we're not getting the uh, attack gauge down on the tower. So tower is going to put immunity on. Then vertical turn cycles. Okay. Dispel attack. We got, uh, well, we, we did, there wasn't anything to dispel, but we at least did get the, uh, yeah, there's, there, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there, there's still continuous damage, though, on the team, and she's still not, she's, she's not doing her skill, too, so, I'm not in love with the fact that she doesn't want to do her skill, too, but then again, this is, uh, this is comp to us AI, so, uh, so Lauren missed again, and also Lala missed again, but teamed up, okay. Situation where we have a lot of dots on. Is she going to do nice dispel attack? Fantastic. I mean, there's pros and cons. She doesn't seem to ever want to do her skill two. Maybe if there was a unit that needed to be healed, she would probably use the skill two uh, in, in that situation. Let's see it again. Back to the dragon again. Let's see what happens this time. We get the backlash. We're probably not going to get too many immunities from since we have the speed break on the right tower. So we'll see how many uh, how many immunities actually. Oh, we're gonna get immunity soon, actually. And she used silver plated bullet, so uh, so there's no Lauren's not gonna do any Lauren things. Lauren's not gonna be as uh, smart. <laughs> so uh, we got a strip there, which is nice. Seventy five percent chance to strip. Actually, Lauren does two hits. It's not a hundred percent chance to strip with Lauren. So that's one of the reasons that it doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> and the other reason is her terrible AI. But. Um, does the right tower come on and do some continuous damage or no? Now she did dispel attack regardless of whether uh, whether uh, anything happened or not. It was just like she just does it whenever it's available, even if there's no debuffs. I don't know that that's great, <laughs> to be honest. She just does it regardless. Now we're here in Steel Fortress. We're gonna take out uh, we're gonna take out Lorne, which is the stripper. We're gonna leave in this uh, block beneficial. We need to leave in block beneficial effects. We're going to take this out. This way, do you do a, no, that's arena, <laughs> arena leader skill. Right, I'm sure everyone's going to use that. Some of these leader skills, most of these leader skills in this game do not make a whole lot of sense. Let's do Vertiheal here. Let's do uh, Lala. We still do have defense breaks. So where is Lala? I don't know where Lala is. Okay, so this way we have, uh, that's the only beneficial effect blocker that we're going to have. So let's see, let, uh, or a stripper, sorry, stripper that we have. Well, actually, wait, wait, does Ling Ling do strips too? Now that, now I'm thinking about it, I think Ling Ling does a strip too, with skill two, right? I'm, I'm, I'm being punished for not paying more attention to Ling Ling, apparently. But it is going to be random. Well, it's especially going to be random if we don't have... Why... Has this always been like this? We do have some, uh, we do have some, uh, heals from Lala. So, more heals on skill one, right? Because skill one, skill two, both heal. Well, actually, skill three heals too. So, because it does skill one. So, all of them heal. Everything heals. There's no point. Wait a second. There's no point where she's not healing. There's no point where she's not healing. You guys see what I'm saying now, too, right? You guys see what I'm saying. Okay, I figured out where Lala is actually good for. Lala is good for the new dungeon. There's no point where she's not healing. Lala is good for the new dungeon. Okay, now this gets more exciting. Now this gets more exciting. We're gonna try her out an R5, too. <laughs> we have the block beneficial effect. We don't need it. We don't need Ling Ling for anything. Ling Ling's and Lala's, and we don't need any of those for anything. Um, well, actually, we definitely need uh, to kill before. Okay, thank you. I was gonna say we don't need a black beneficial effect. Yeah, but if the boss gets turns and takes it off, then that's gonna be an issue in itself. So uh, yeah, let's definitely we'll test it out in R five, and then we'll test it out in uh, in the new dungeon. So here in R5, we're going to see how this works. We're going to take these two cleansers out. We're going to take this out. Uh, we're going to put in. Why not? Because we want to see some more spotlights of some different um, different Second Awaken units. I feel like that's a good opportunity. Let's use her as the leader skill. It's not a premium R5 team, but we want to see how this does. We have one cleanser. 
We have one cleanser in it. So we'll see. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We have, uh, she has cleanse with skill 2, she has cleanse with skill 3. Unfortunately, she's probably going to do stupid things and it's probably going to be a terrible team. But we'll see. So she didn't do, she didn't do her, uh, skill 3 there. Okay. She didn't do her skill 3. We got some team ups. We got some more team ups. Let's see. Then there's her skill 3 where she didn't need to do it. Right. Okay. Lots of glancing hits, which we like to see. There's no crit resist, so... Oh, he's got well, he's got a glancing debuff, so... <laughs> I wonder why he's doing uh, why he's doing glancing hits. He's got a glancing debuff on him. Uh, there we go. Glancing, uh, glancing hits. That's why these debuffs are important, guys. So we have all those... Yeah, look at that. Look at all those debuffs. But she's not going to have it. She, she, well, she had her skill 2. She finally uses skill 2. But she didn't have skill 3 for when she actually needed it. Got some team ups. Got some more team ups. Uh, let's see. So she's got another. She's got a heal, but didn't have her skill three because she just used it randomly. So that's definitely a downside. Is her just using her skill three whenever she has it, which is not great for R five to be honest. For a cleanser, however, it's going to potentially be pretty nice for. There we go. Okay, <laughs> there we go. But that was nice right there. So, I mean, the AI. AI kind of holds it back from something like this, from R5, but it's not as... Hopefully, it's not, not going to be bad for the new... Uh, yeah, I'll take... <laughs> I'll take that. What do I use that for? Uh, I'm going to use that for my crit damage Eladriel. No. Bagel, no. No. Levels 1 through 4 with this team were no problem whatsoever, but levels 1 through 4 are really not that big of a challenge anyway. It's always level 5. That is the challenging one. So this is the team that we're running. We have an attack type unit. We have a defense type unit. We have an HP type unit. We have a support type unit. Uh, let's, because that's the stipulations for the dungeon. We can only use, we can use one of each type of unit. Not these units specifically. I just figure a lot of people have these units uh, and they're good units for this. So let's see how it does. We have two heals. We have some turn, we have two different uh, forms of turn cycling. The speed buff and we have the vertiheal uh, increasing attack age. So... And then we have crit, uh, crit resist too, which is nice. But one of the nice things about this is the... Is actually... Uh, well, un, well, one of the nice things about it is she keeps healing, right? The second nice thing about this is she's got that third skill and one of the bosses on the... On the uh, at the end is a Lulu. And Lulu puts immunity on. So it's kind of nice to strip things, randomly strip things with this skill right here. Uh, randomly strips things on that Lulu stage. So that's actually not that bad. So let's see. I really don't care too much about... Thank goodness they're not 2A. Uh, 2A <laughs> uh, enemies. They're just 1A uh, enemies. So let's see it here. Uh, okay, so this Aura of Death debuff that we have on us. It's going to keep increasing. And we it, it can potentially keep increasing all, all the way up to like 99. Um, the way to take it all well the way to decrease it we want to make sure that doesn't go too high the way to decrease it is to keep healing so uh consistent heals is going to be really strong for here and she just keeps healing regardless so with her skill one for, with her skill two with her skill three so that's going to be nice so so far we are on the second wave vert heal also heals a little bit with his skill one we want to make sure we don't take too much crazy damage 78! Oh my goodness! Okay, so we're down to 35, down to 27, down to 19! That's not that bad. That's not that bad considering. We're up to 78. Jeez. Okay, so we uh, decreased some of those uh, those Aura of Death uh, debuffs. This is gonna be nasty. Oh no, never mind. It's not gonna be that nasty. I was so afraid of that. Okay. So let's see how much damage this does. That was a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, so we are in some trouble now. We're in some trouble. Let's see. You know what? It would would have been nice. Maybe we'll try Spectra here, and we'll see. Cause Spectra's great here too. <laughs> no extortions. Level ninety nine debuffs. No. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm putting Spectra in here. I'm putting Spectra so OP in here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick Spectra in here somehow. Yeah, cause we kind of need that. 
Yeah, okay. This one's it's 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 looking kind of rough, but but she is still she's holding her uh she's doing her part is what I mean. She's doing her part. Kind of. Yeah, let's uh let's this 87. She is healing. She is healing. I can't I can't hold it against her. She's the last one standing here. Uh let's uh <laughs> You know what Bella's a defense unit. We have uh, a Carwin here, but Bella's a defense unit too, so. So, I've been trying this dungeon out with Lala and friends for quite a while now. Uh, Lala seems to be doing just fine. Lala's doing great. However, two things. And number one, we don't have, we can't use Spectra, right? We can't use Spectra at all because Spectra is a support unit. We need to use one attack, one defense, one HP, and one support. So, we can't use Spectra because Spectra is a support. Lala's a support, so we can only use one or the other. Number two is, this is on the Europe account, we don't have some of the units built that I would like to bring in here. So we're going to have to revisit this at a different time. I know comment section, I know you're going to be like, Bango, just use this, you just use the Spectra. Just use the Spectra. Just use a, 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 a Light Griffin. We, oh, we don't have a Light Griffin on this account, so we can't use, again, I have six accounts. How many accounts? Are six accounts. Uh, Light Griffin is built on one of them. Uh, don't have Light Griffin built on the other one. Light Griffin would be fantastic here. I know some of you mentioned in the last uh, the last video that we did on this, um, just use Light Griffin. I'm like, I think I even said in the video, I'm like, we don't have Light Griffin on this account. Pago, use Light Griffin. Why is he not using Light Griffin? What part of that do you not get that I don't have Light Griffin on the account? That way, okay, I can't, I can't use Light Griffin on the account. But Pago, just take the Light Griffin from your other account and put him on this account. The f <clears throat> Yes, that should work perfectly fine. I don't know why I read the comments. I really don't. I read the comments, I'm like... That doesn't make... But do you not understand? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I would like to be able to use some different units on here. Kind of sucks to not be able to use Spectra here. That's all I'm going to say. Kind of sucks. Because she's doing fine, but... Just the fact that we don't have a Light Griffin and we can't use Spectra. Because those are some of my uh, favorite units. Those are some, I think, the ba basically the best units to use here. But anyway, uh, that is still, we got to see Lala, we got to see what uh, Lala's capable of. Uh, she seems like she's got promise. We'll keep using her, we'll come back to it. Um, we'll test her out again. I mean, there's no reason we can't do multiple videos of Lala, because we have Lala, so why not? But uh, yeah, I mean, she's got some pros and cons. Her pro... Her <laughs> Her, her pros is she heals a lot, right? That's her pro. She strips things, she heals a lot, she cleanses. Her cons are she doesn't seem to want to use skill 2 to cleanse. She just wants to use it when a unit needs to be healed. Um, and then skill 3, she just uses it regardless of whatever. She's like, I'm not going to wait until things need to be cleansed. I'm just going to use it to use it. So, um, pros and cons on that. But anyway, uh, I think definitely the AI could be uh, improved to make Lala. That's basically the thing, is if the AI was better, the unit would be better. There's a lot of units in the game which we're seeing like the same thing. It's like, yeah, the AI would be, uh, units would be better if the AI was better a lot for many, many, many units. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys got something out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna have to definitely try her out in the future because uh, I think she's gonna be a nice unit for the new uh, the new farming dungeon. Um, eventually, when we stick her in with the right stuff. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you as always in the next one.